Hello my dear students and friends. Welcome to my session on PLC in 21 days. We are on day 15. In today's session again we will see some more on linking PLC with HMI, the touch screen. So last class uh, also we have seen about uh, the various uh, uh, through the uh, HMI touch screen uh, we controlled uh, the PLC like uh, three different uh, things we have seen. The first button if we press uh, sequentially all the six LEDs will be lighting one after the other. The second button first LED blinks three times. The second one press if I press permanently on if I again press permanently off the LED button one. All these things will be there in today's session also. In addition to that I used how to use the counter. How to use the counter in HMI okay in HMI so we'll stay in for that uh, up to this we have seen yesterday yesterday we have seen up to this okay then I have added a counter this is the counter C30 is the counter right uh, I used uh, M104 here we'll see the program I already opened and uh, everything I created again I repeat the first button is assigned with M101 momentary if we press this one um, the all the six LEDs will be glowing one after the other then ends this one M side by side I will show you the program also M101 we go to the uh, this is the M101 program so the M200 is assigned with Y0 Y0 Y1 Y2 Y3 Y4 Y5 will be on alt sequentially one after the other one after the other so that is the program linked with m101 auxiliary input with the hmi screen then the next block is so this block ends here the next block 102 m102 this is m102 this is m102 again it is a momentary so see the program see here uh, this uh, the hmi programming doesn't know whether uh, you are using uh, uh, timers or counter or any other uh, anything it gives one signal that's it input it's an input device so that's what i said already if you use hmi screen uh, the physical inputs x0 x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x7 they are all not required actually okay in place of the x uh, you will be using the hmi okay so uh, this program m102 uh, two time uh, uh, see five different timers so three we will be using for switching on the uh, the LEDs right the first LED only that is a uh, M0 M2 uh, M1 uh, M0 M2 M4 uh, if you see at the last yeah M0 M2 M4 so these three link are linked with Y0 then we go back uh, then this is one separate block uh, M103 is directly connected 199 that 199 again in the output uh, session you see that M199 uh, switches on the Y0 so this is the third block or third button this is the third button this is assigned here actually so one M what is this M103 yes M103 M103 it is a inward button if we if i press this one once uh, it is clicked one time if it is pressed again off uh, th that is the thing in addition now in uh, all these three things we have seen yesterday okay now i added uh, these two now the counter okay this is the count this is called the numeric entry you see that in this uh, it is somewhere numeric entry numeric entry I use this command okay so you see uh, this I assigned with D0 uh, one this is the new thing I have introduced here right we have seen already K, K1 already K1 is a K is a constant we everywhere we use wherever timer is there we use K1 
k k 8 means 0.8 second k 10 means 1 second something like that it, k means constant whereas d means it is a variable uh, this can be dynamically changed right so i you see i use the d0 here so this d0 value is obtained from this particular button this particular button right so this is assigned with d uh, d10 so it this transfer the d10 value uh, through com port through com port i will show you that so this through the com port com1 port that is a logic right uh, this is very important you should uh, perfectly you should it should not be internal storage area it, or it should not be com2 because i connected com1 port of uh, hmi to my plc board so this thing should be perfect otherwise uh, it will transfer but uh, uh, by mistake uh, if you put to come to here this uh, hmi sent this value to come to but uh, you have we have been connected uh, the uh, plc with the com2 port we connected the plc with com1 port of uh, hmi so that conflicts will occur so things will not work perfectly so be careful on that okay mm, then uh, uh, here i am getting two inputs the value in the form of variable d from here then uh, another auxiliary m104 momentary to start the program so to start the program m04 104 before using this d1 what i uh, did what i did uh, was uh, i added one value along with the d0 i stored it to d11 so this gives only d10 value i added plus one that's it add already let us say if i put value of three here 3 plus k1 one means 1 3 1 3 plus 1 4 the value of 4 is stored in d11 because uh, actually 3 means 3 times it should blink eh? but uh, i tested uh, 1 is negating actually that is why i added this statement right again the statement program is uh, through the input uh, the, the absolutely there is no difference between this and this here uh, it is a uh, it, it is uh, the the program is fixed the led one the first led will blink three times but here the same led one based on the input the led that led one will blink that many number of times so that is a point that is a point right for that this the these are the this is the logic eh? uh, even if i give the logic and all uh, unless you don't have the samdra software and hmi you are not in a you can't uh, there is a, there is of no use in uh, using this particular program so that is why this will be i'll be just demonstrating it there is no attachment uh, in the youtube uh, link uh, or in the description uh, because even if i give as i said just before uh, y y you cannot uh, use those things because uh, you should have jx developer you should have uh, uh, the jx developer compatible board uh, the samkun uh, hmi the samdra software uh, the programming cables everything you, you should have otherwise it will not work the one more thing i forgot to tell you here itself you can see the simulation offline simulation here so this is how in the in the uh, display this is how it will work now i press and hold you see what happens i press my mouse okay if i release off but if this is invert pressed once it is on again i press okay then here i can give the input give four the four value then if you press this one the led will, will blink four times else suppose if i put 10 press enter then if i press this button led one will blink 10 times so you can give you can set how many number of times that led should blink okay i just uh, use the led blinking as the example but in your case it can be anything take for example for every uh, suppose if it, uh, if it is a biscuit packet packaging okay 10 biscuits then move it 
after 10 big, big, 10 the 10 count the 10 biscuits once it reaches 10 then uh, do that activity push uh, all the uh, 10 biscuits together in a single shot so it will it will fall on uh, it will uh, it will dump uh, it will be dumped on the uh, packaging something like that okay let me press escape so shall we see the things in action okay mm. so these are the things i already i showed you so these are the things we used right so this was the previous screen uh, yes now you see the same thing you are, you are seeing now same thing you are seeing now shall i play in that now here the input value initially it will be zero or you won't get the number at all I will be showing again all these three first. The last, uh, in, uh, finally, I will be showing the fourth one, right? The again, I repeat now. If I press, if you press this one, LED six uh, LEDs, one, two, three, four, five, six will be uh, glowing one after the other, one time. If I if you press this, if I press this one, LED one hereafter LED one only. All these three for all these three buttons, LED one will blink three times. That's all. This one permanent on or permanent off this one you can input the value after inputting the value you have to press this button okay now we'll play okay now i am about to press the first one now i am pressing the first one so these are plc these are the six leds pasted together one two three four is uh, off and i gone so second if we press uh, the second button led one alone will blink three times one two three okay then the third one press once it becomes green that is inward button then press again the same it becomes off led is off that's it on permanently and off permanently now we see the fourth one now you can give the input now I am giving the input uh, okay let me type I am typing 4 that means input is 4 now if I press this button the LED 1 will glow 4 times that is a program 1 2 3 4 that's it let me give some other value mm, I think I am giving 10 now okay then you see that pressed 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so this is how you can uh, write a program in uh, PLC and you can write a touch everything in the touch screen also okay so like that uh, you can you can you can uh, uh, do something I'll show you some other uh, cons uh, thing So this is one robotic arm. Uh, uh, probably tomorrow, tomorrow maybe I'll I let me show. So using this, uh, we can control the uh, the uh, robotic setup. Actually, we have pick and place robotic setup. So these many actions uh, we have incorporated, right? Okay. So today we have seen uh, the continuation of the last class. Uh, the here uh, we have seen the. On how to use the counter as the input uh, counting counter uh, as the input in HMI the count based on the number uh, you can uh, you can set the device either to blink or either to function that many times okay so thank you so much uh, uh, please uh, you subscribe my channel then uh, inform this to your uh, faculty members and uh, uh, other faculty members and students so then they'll also 
gain some knowledge and confidence in developing some real products thank you